Hello again everyone. In this short video, I'll be giving a demonstration on the advanced rhythm concepts and figures that we are learning about this week, and I'll give you a more in-depth breakdown of my personal method for sight reading rhythms. But full disclosure, I will not be giving a demonstration on any of the rhythms that are found in the directions. I will instead give myself a more complicated rhythm, one that includes at least a little bit of each of the new uh, rhythmic concepts that we're learning. It's got dotted rhythms, some syncopation, and triplets, in hopes that I can help you through each of those three things that you may encounter in the rhythms in the sheet. <laughs> so I'll be doing so going through each step of my method, starting with number one, to look at the time signature and determine how many beats are in each measure. Okay, pretty simple. We have four, four, so that means there are four beats in each measure. Step two, look closely at each measure to see if there are any spots that may be difficult for you. Um, I immediately <laughs> catch this one. It has a 16th rest right on the E, and it has a little bit of syncopation here with this eighth rest being right on beat three. I don't anticipate anything else being difficult, but perhaps this 16th, eighth, 16th figure might catch me off guard a little bit if I'm not careful. I also notice that there are four measures worth, so that is 16 beats worth of music total. Three, make note of those troublesome spots. That might be a little bit redundant, but it's essentially hammering in the point to be aware of when those troublesome spots are in the music so that you can make a mental note to be prepared for them when you encounter them. Four, isolate smaller rhythmic patterns like eighth note triplets and practice clapping them along to a metronome. Okay, so we do have an example of one of those here, an eighth note triplet figure. I also want to highlight this 16th, 8th, 16th figure, as well as these four 16th note beats, or rather I should say, one note, one rest, and then two other notes. Uh, let me pull up a metronome. There is a link to this provided in Blackboard. It's called, uh, to a website called Musica, and it should take you directly to the metronome link. I'm going to set this to 60 beats per minute and have it start. Hopefully you can hear that. I realize we didn't cover what a metronome is or what it's for. It's essentially a beat or a pulse that you can set digitally or mechanically if you have a physical um, mechanical metronome. And what it's used for is keeping you in time so that you don't play too fast or too slow. But it also helps you to internalize rhythm. And that is primarily what I'll be using it for in this video. So I'm just going to let this run passively in the background. I'll lower the volume just a little bit so it's not too intrusive. Go back to our rhythm. Okay, now I want to try this eighth note triplet first. Triplet, 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 triplet. And in clapping, it would sound like this. There we go. So I've practiced that several times in a row. I feel quite comfortable with it. Now I'm going to go over to this 16th, 8th, 16th figure. Uh, let, me, let me try that one more time. And then this 16th, 16th rest, and then two 16ths following. Okay, wait for beat one. Okay, I feel quite comfortable with each of those. Let me pause the metronome just for one second and illustrate the difference between these eighth note triplets and this 16th, 8th, 16th figure. 
In a triplet, each of the notes has an equal amount of time, whereas in this figure, two notes are shorter, one note is longer. They occupy the same space, but each note is of a different length in each of them. Or I should say, each of these notes are equal, one of these notes is not equal. And then let me go back to the Word document. Uh, we were on step five. Practice up to three times the entire rhythm and use a metronome each time. Let me turn it back on. Get our rhythm back up here. Okay. Let's give it a shot. And one, two, ready, go. Okay, not bad at all. Pause that just for one moment. Remember very briefly how we play notes that are longer than a quarter. On the first beat, you clap. On the second beat, you slide. So we have notes that are just a half note, clap, slide. That is how you would play that. And again, if you have any whole notes, double checking to make sure we do not have any whole notes, but if you did, you would go clap, slide, slide, slide. Beat one is the clap, beat two, three, four is the slide. And then once I feel comfortable that I know the rhythm, I can play it well without stopping. I'm going to go to Vocaroo, click the microphone button, allow my computer access to it, or sorry, allow the website access to my computer's microphone, and then record with the metronome. Two, ready, go. Then we stop it. Stop the metronome as well. Go back into Vocaroo, click Save and Share. Copy this link into Blackboard. And also make sure to include the number of the rhythms you selected. So that would be two total. For instance, you could pick Rhythm 2 or Rhythm 3. Uh, make sure that both of those have been recorded and that you include the rhythm number in your submission as well. And with that, you are done. If you have any comments, questions, or if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one practice session with me where I give you separate rhythms to practice, I would be more than happy to offer that. Music be with you.